Hi everyone, welcome to another video of AML Math. Today, I'm going to introduce the Angle Bisector Theorem. The Angle Bisector Theorem is about splitting one of the angle of the triangle in half. When you're doing geometry questions, this is a very useful identity. First of all, what is Angle Bisector Theorem? The Angle Bisector Theorem basically states that if you are given a triangle ABC and AD splits the angle BAC in half and D is on side BC, then you will have the identity C over M, which is AB over BD equals to B over N, which is AC over DC. How are we going to prove this? There are actually many ways to prove this, but for today, I'm going to show you two different ways. Method 1. We can apply sine law on triangle ABD and triangle ADC. Sine law says that when you have a triangle, one of the sides of a sine of the corresponding angle equals to another side over its corresponding angle. In other words, if you look at this diagram over here, we know that A, which is BC, over sine angle BAC equals to C over sine angle ACB and equals to B over sine angle ABC. Now we know what sine law is, we can apply on triangle ABD and triangle ADC. For triangle ABD, we can have C, which is AB, over sine angle ADB equals to M over sine angle BAD. And if we cross multiply this and simplify, we can have C over M equals to sine angle ADB over sine angle BAD. And let's apply sine law on triangle ADC. We can have B, which is AC, over angle AD, sine angle ADC equals to N over sine angle DAC which is this angle over here. If we cross multiply this equation and simplify it, we can have B over N equals to sine angle ADC over sine angle DAC. For sine angle ADC, which is this angle, we, we know that it equals to sine 180 degrees minus angle ADB. When we sine 180 minus an angle, it basically equals to sine the angle we minus. So this equation equals to sine angle ADB. And this gives us sine angle ADC equals to sine angle ADB. Because AD is the angle bisector of BAC, we can also know that angle BAD equals to angle DAC. So C over M equals to sine angle ADB over sine angle BAD. And we know that sine angle ADB, if you look, at here, look, look here, sine angle ADB equals to sine angle ADC. And sine angle BAD, because angle BAD equals to angle DAC, we can know that sine angle BAD equals to sine angle DAC. So, so uh, this equation can simplify to sine angle ADC over sine angle DAC. And if we look here, this equals to B over N. So we can have C over M equals to B over N. This is the first method I will present you. And now we're moving on method two. For method two, we will extend AD to E such that CE is parallel to AB. Because CE is parallel to AB, angle ABD equals to angle ECD, which is this angle over here, and angle BAD equals to angle CED. And also, the angle in the middle, ADB equals to angle CDE. Because all three angles are equal, we can know that triangle ABD is similar to triangle ECD. And similar triangles 
basically means that these two triangles have the same shape, uh, but they they have different size. Because these two triangles are similar, we can know that C over M equals to A over N, which is AB over BD equals to EC over DC. Because angle BAD, which is this angle over here, equals to angle CED, which we already know, and angle BAD equals to angle CAD, because AD is the bisector of the angle, we can know that angle CED, which is this angle over here, equals to angle CAD, which is this angle over here. When we have a triangle, oops, and these two angles are the same, we can know that this side is equal to this side. So if we apply this, we can know that A, A is equal to B, which means that EC is equal to AC. We already have the equation C over M equals to A over N, so we can replace A with B, and then we will have C over M equals to B over N. This is this week's math proof. Please like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.